While the U-2 is still in active service today, the U.S. Air Force retired its fleet of SR-71s on January 26, 1990. With a top speed of Mach 3 Plus throughout its nearly 24-year career, the SR-71 remained the world's fastest and highest flying operational aircraft. From 80,000 feet, it could survey 100,000 square miles of Earth's surface per hour. By contrast a U-2 Dragon Lady has a top speed of 410 miles per hour and can fly above 70,000 feet. Still, the U-2 is still in active service today, while the U.S. Air Force retired its fleet of SR-71s on January 26, 1990. The only reason behind is, the SR-71 was insanely expensive to fly. Mission over a target in the Middle East, with the planes based in England. It needed to have multiple airliner size aircraft in the air to support it. It was not capable of taking off with a full load of fuel. Or rather, not advisable for many reasons, so in order to take off, there had to be a tanker waiting in the air to top it off once it got airborne. It would then make a high-speed run to the target zone, where it would meet up with another tanker before doing its Mach 3 run over the target. It would then need to tank up again once the recon run was done for the trip home, and then there would still be a tanker in the air on standby in case it needed gas before landing or in case it needed to divert for weather or something. So that's a minimum of four airliner-sized support aircraft, including all of their parts, fuel use, and crew, flying out of a minimum of two different bases just to make a single SR-71 operational mission happen. And that's on top of all the crew, fuel, parts and mechanics just to operate the SR-71. This is true for operational missions, and usually true just for training runs back home as well. The planes were stationed at Beale AFB in California, and there was an entire squadron of tankers stationed there just to support the SR-71.